Okay everyone, welcome back again to another Fox Tech video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how you can take not full page screenshots on your iPad. Sometimes you don't need to capture the entire screen and you just wanna capture a selected portion. So I'm gonna show you a few methods to get exactly what you want. So let's just jump right in. So the most common way to take a screenshot on iPad is by pressing the home button and the power button at the same time or the volume up button if you have the newer model, but this usually captures the full screen. What if you only need a part of it? Quick and easy method is to immediately tap on the screenshot thumbnail that appears in the bottom left corner and there you can see the editing screen where you can resize and crop the screenshot just to save the exact portion of the screen you want. This way you can fine tune your screenshot right after taking it without saving the full page first. But if you missed tapping on the thumbnail and it went and saved as a full screenshot, you can still crop it later in the, the Photos app. You just get to the Photos, tap on the screenshot, tap on Edit, and then you can use the Crop tool to adjust it to your liking. But if you don't even want to do that, and if you want to skip this step entirely and start editing your screenshot right away, if you have a keyboard connected to your iPad, there's an even faster way to take partial screenshots. You can use the shortcut Command plus Shift plus 4, and this will instantly allow you to select the portion of the screen you want to capture. It actually bypasses the full screen capture altogether. It saves a few seconds, but it can add up and can be pretty useful. This shortcut is super convenient and works a similar way to taking a screenshot on macOS, so if you're used to using Macs, it'll feel very familiar. Now, these methods give you the flexibility to take screenshots however you want, but this is going to be about it for this video. I, have hope, I hope you have found this video helpful and useful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Fox Tech for more videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching, see you guys later.